lawn garden hours. Now we're gonna move into something I have never seen before, and it is the cutest, most adorable uh, place for all of those pollinators to live, not pestering you, not flying around your home, but now they have their own home in your backyard, and it's called our insect hotel. And this is a safe place for them to attract those pollinators, like the things that, that our environment needs. Bees, you said ladybugs, beetles. Yes. Uh, what else did you say? The lace the wings? The lace wings. The right. lace wings. Butterflies, all of those pollinators and this the insects so that actually eat the insects that you don't want. This is our insect hotel and not only is it <laughs> so absolutely cute. precious to look at, but it serves a very big purpose. Insects, the good pollinators, they are disappearing. And part of the reason that they are disappearing is because we now live in a world filled with insecticides. Right. And that's great because none of us want those problem insects in our garden eating up all of our fruits and vegetables and flowers. But I will tell you that there's a more natural way to do it. And even if you aren't into gardening, having those pollinators will continue to make sure that are we beneficial. keep these. Absolutely, absolutely. So what we have here are little compartments that different insects find refuge in both to hibernate over the cold months but also to seek shelter during storms they can actually lay their eggs in there and it's wow. adorable so you can see all of the different compartments like so these, how does it work right like, so basically I'll show you the back of it you're going to choose how you would like to mount this you can just get some twine here we have a couple different varieties and you could hang it up on a tree you could hang it up on a shepherd's hook I personally have mine sitting right Right in my garden. It looks beautiful with all of my flowers because it is very aesthetically pleasing as well, but it serves a very big purpose. All of these little holes here are exactly where your pollinating bees will go. And I'm not talking about hornets and wasps. They won't be interested in this at all. We're okay. talking about the honeybees. Okay. We're also talking about ladybugs. And we know that ladybugs are great at eating all those other insects that we don't want. Even the aphid eating lace wings will find refuge in here. Here, of course. I said I had no idea what that was. I know, I know, but you know, I have to know these things. It's kind of my job. Right. But to be honest with you, you can put this anywhere. Not only is it going to prevent you from having those bugs wherever you don't want them, like inside your house, oh, right. but it'll be out there in your neighborhood bringing in these pollinators and making sure that you are doing your part to make this environment a better place for all of us. Right, and I think for future generations, it's one of those things that we've seen so many documentaries on about bees, the importance of the pollination, and how, you know, they're slowly disappearing. Yes. And I think in any small part that we can add to our outdoor environment, a little safe haven, a place that not only is aesthetically pleasing to our lawn and garden, you can hang it from a tree branch, you can hang it from twine. This adds that little bit of whimsy, that little bit of charm. And then at the same time, it's that refuge. It's that place that those bees are going to pollinate. Now, because this is brand new, this is the first time you're getting to see it. We only have 890 of these to go around. If you've seen it on other... Oh, um, all the gardening websites, absolutely. It, they're yep. selling out they because are. this is one of the hottest things that we're seeing for lawn and garden. And I think when you see those individual chambers mm -hmm. made of pine, bamboo, and then the metal roof, this just adds that little texture to your garden. And it's multi-purpose because it's good for, the for you know, the flying insects. Exactly, the exactly. All of those pollinators, pollinators, especially. And that's what I think is so great. While you're waiting for them to realize mm -hmm. that they can seek refuge here. You're going to enjoy it just as the charming little house that it is. Cute. And again, each and every one of these little compartments has a purpose and there is a specific kind of insect that is drawn to it. Again, these are made for the lace wings. These little compartments up here, the honeybees love to go in there and seek shelter. We have this area up here where the ladybugs love to go in there and they will lay their eggs. And again, they will pollinate what you have on your property, but on top of that, you can avoid right. some of those nasty insecticides so that you don't have to even deal with them by yourself or right. with your pets or well, with your think, children. Think about the joy that you get when you have butterflies on your property. Oh. Like, I love to see butterflies, and I would love, come on back here with me because we're going to walk.
walk back here. I think this is absolutely stunning back mm -hmm. here. And if this is your area and you think maybe it's a place that you plant all of your plants, or maybe it's an area that you want to be able to hang it off of a fence. Look how this just adds that little bit of texture, that little bit of playfulness. Now, one of the tips, Carrie, you gave us was not to plant it like direct or not to hang it right by our house. I wouldn't because necessarily. Because there are bees and things like that. But so you see, don't. I, I actually have mine in my okay. garden. It is right next to my house. But right. if you're concerned about it, because by the way, these aren't the kind of insects that you're not going to want around. Okay. These are going to be the good insects. And you what they'll do is they'll prevent those bad ones. So okay. like, for example, I love ladybugs, you know? I know, right? I do too. I love ladybugs. Mm -hmm. I love to see them. And, you know, let's also consider the fact that if you have a piece of land and you have a tree, you can easily nail this to a tree. Yeah, it was it's just even better like that. And I, I grabbed both of them because I wanted you to see if you want to get two and do like them oh, offset. It's precious. It's because, adorable. Yeah, it really is cute. And so now maybe you get some other like, you know, metal wrought iron and right. you make like a whole little station for them. I think to me, this looks adorable. And it has just one little hook right on the back. So this is simple and easy installation. If you want to be able to have like, um, this is twine. twine, right, exactly. We bought some twine just okay. at the, the home repair store. But don't you think this is just to me? I do. And be patient, right, because they don't know what it is yet. They'll want to go in it, but they're not really super trusting. Right. So they're going to need a little bit of time to figure it out, but they will see. But we don't put food in it or anything. Absolutely not. No, okay. this is more of a shelter for them. This is like this is like the Ritz-Carlton of the insect <laughs> world. And once they check in, Wait they will not want to check out. Wait a second. I have to say... The, that hotel in particular does not charge $19.95 for a work. <laughs> so I think for your bugs, $19.95 is pretty conservative, it's right? It's wonderful. And I'm telling you, this is one of the hottest yes. items for gardeners because it's not only adorable, but it's effective and it's beneficial to our environment. Right. And I personally thank every single one of you who has ordered it because you are doing something to help our environment. We live yeah. in cities. It's difficult for these yeah. insects to seek refuge. What happens when it rains and they're in the city. Where are they going to go? Into your house? We don't want no. that. Right. So let's give them this place. Let's give them this refuge. And you know what's interesting to me? Um, with everybody calling in, we maybe have about 500 remaining. But one of the things that's interesting to me is that you get a one-year warranty on this. Isn't that crazy? And, and it's, it's, uh, it's an insect hotel, and you get a one-year warranty. So you know the quality is here. You know this is something that will add that charm to your home. Continue to call in 592-040. We'll let you know when it's